Hi, welcome to Jot Form. My name is George, and today I'm going to show you how to set up your webhooks on your form. So, follow me to my dashboard right now. Okay, so here we have prepared a form on Jot Form, and we have already the elements for name, phone number, and email. Now, you can add the elements that you need, and these will be sent out through the webhook. Now, how do we set up a webhook? Let's head on over to Settings, go to Integrations. We're going to search for Webhook, and we're going to select it. Now, this is where we're going to add our webhook link. What does that mean? We have to go to our provider to get that link. It could be Zapier, Integromat, Pavli, and many other services that provide webhooks. In this case, we're going to use Zapier as one of the ones we're going to use for the demo. Now, what we're going to do is go to Make a SAP. We're going to select the first element right here, webhook. And we're going to choose the event. In this case, we're going to capture, okay? So we're going to catch a hook. What does that mean? That the form from JotForm is going to send out information and Zapier is going to capture it. So it's going to catch it. Let's continue. Okay, and this is the link we need. Let's go ahead and copy. Let's go back to our JotForm settings. Let's paste our link right here and let's complete integration. Okay, the integration is ready. Let's go back to our Zapier account. Let's continue. Let's test the trigger. Okay, and now it's waiting for the trigger. So let's go ahead and send a demo form. Just fill it out so we can send out this information so Zapier can capture it. Okay, let's put in the information here for Aguilar. And we'll just add a random phone number and a random email. Let's go ahead and submit. And now it's submitted. Let's go back to Zapier. Let's test the trigger. And now we captured the information. So the information that was sent through the form, now it's here in Zapier. Now we have the information. You can see we have the information from the form title, the date, the pretty, the username that was used for that one from the form, the slug, the first name, last name, the phone number, and the email. Now, depending on the elements that you have added on your form are the ones that are going to be captured right here. Now, this information is used to do many things with Zapier. So, for example, if I wanted to do an action, well, I can send this information to create a post in Facebook, to send it out to my CRM, to my email marketing service, or just to any of the apps that are available on Zapier. Now, like I said before, you can also use other service providers like Integromat and Integrately, Pavly Connect and all of those have the type of systems like Webhook. Now, if you need to debug your Webhook, we recommend Pipe Dream. These links will be in the description on top of the video and on the bottom in the description. So if we wanted to test out the Webhook in case we wanted to debug, we can use Pipe Dream by creating a new Webhook. We're going to request create source. And now we have the link where it's listening. And again, we add this link to our job form and we send out a form so it captures the information just like we tested with Zapier. Well, that is how you use webhooks on JotForm. We thank you all for watching and we'll see you on our next tutorials. Bye bye.